Hi, so this is the continuation of the previous video on the gold ions in the Earth's oceans. Okay, so in this video, we're asked to calculate the moles of your gold ions, which is also a unit of quantity. And given that the molar mass, which was al also given earlier in the other video, of gold is 196.967 grams per mole. And pr from the previous video, the mass of the gold in the ocean is 1.4 times 10 to the 10 kilograms. Alright, so we will be needing all of this and of course some equivalent statements for us to know the mole of the gold ions in the Earth's ocean. And this is this outline of our solution. We start with the given mass of the gold ions in the ocean which is 1.4 times 10 to the 10 kilograms and we have two blanks meaning we need two equivalent statements for us to solve this problem and those equivalent statements should be the conversion factor form in the solution all right so obviously we are given the unit kilograms so we have to convert that unit into grams first so that we can multiply that with the molar mass for us to get the number of moles of our gold ions all right so we now have written the equivalent statements to we will be needing for this solution and this is a very familiar equ equivalent statement that we had one gram Sorry, 1 kilogram is 1,000 grams, and this is now in the conversion factor form, seeing that the unit kilogram should be in the denominator for it to cancel out. Alright, then next we're left in the uh, grams. So we now multiply that with the molar mass, but remember that the unit gram should be in the denominator for it to cancel out. So 196.967 should be in the denominator as well. Alright. So we are only left with the unit moles and all we have to do now is to do the calculation for us to solve the problem. And the answer is 7.2 times 10 raised to the power of positive 10 moles of your gold ions. Now AU is symbol of your gold, chemical symbol of your gold. Alright, now remember before you do report your final answer, you always have to look back at the given and look and determine the correct number of significant figures okay so there's nothing given except for the mass that we calculated earlier so that's two significant figures so our final answer should only contain two significant figures as well all right so that's all for this video thank you for listening and continue learning